As president, In pulling out of the Paris Climate Accord, President Donald Trump Thursday no attempted to make his point in simple terms. I was elected to represent the citizens of Pittsburgh, not Paris. But it seems Pittsburgh is siding with Paris. He lost Pittsburgh. Hillary Clinton got almost 80% of the vote in the city of Pittsburgh. Mayor William Peduto's reaction, not so fast. On Friday, the mayor issued an executive order committing the city to the Paris Accords, making plans that include ending the use of landfills, reducing energy consumption by half, and developing a fossil fuel-free fleet of city vehicles. Peduto says the president's assertion that environmental regulations and a push toward green energy will hurt the economy is false. Pittsburgh is the shining example of how a strong emphasis of change and innovation through sustainability can bring back a city's economy. For decades, Pittsburgh has made strides in countering the effects of pollution since its industrial heyday choked the city in smog and soot. The city has become a hub for technology companies. Ride hailing company Uber is even developing its self-driving fleet within the city limits. It's a point of pride for many Pittsburghers. Pittsburgh is turning into a green city. Pittsburgh is a cultural mecca right now. As for Trump? No, he doesn't represent Pittsburgh. No way at all. Meanwhile, across the Atlantic, Parisians took offense to the president's statements. Le climat, c'est une question globale. The climate issue affects everyone. This is wrong to say he was not elected by Parisians. But meanwhile, the climate issue will also affect the U.S. citizens. French Prime Minister Edouard Philippe told reporters Friday that Pittsburgh would benefit just as much from the agreement as Paris. There's no planet B. There is no plan B. What's fascinating and in a way fortunate is that in the U.S. there's a considerable number of political and economic actors, unions and associations who are perfectly aware of the fact that Pittsburgh is on the same planet as Paris. So in Pittsburgh and Paris, optimism that the agreement will move on in spirit with or without the Trump administration. Robert Bumstead, Associated Press. Before Paris, France.